Hello, my name is Jill Phillips, and I'm a co-owner of Squeals on Wheels, a traveling petting zoo and pony rides. My name is John Phillips. We have horses, miniature horses. We have miniature llamas and alpacas. Chickens, ducks. We have bearded dragons. Our website is www.squealsonwheels.us. One of the most important things you can learn as a new rabbit owner is how to pick up that rabbit. It's, it's really a lesson in safety because rabbits have a very fragile spine and if they're not picked up correctly or you don't understand the cues as when to hold on to them or put them down, um, it can be very dangerous for a rabbit. So the first thing I do when I approach a rabbit either inside the cage or outside the cage is I'll reach in and I'll pet the rabbit to let that rabbit know that I'm there and I'm not just reaching in like an animal of prey. Once I pet that rabbit a little bit, I put my hand, usually my riding hand or my dominant hand, right behind the rabbit's front legs and then I'll put my other hand right underneath its rump so that it's fully supported. Now he knows that I'm gonna pick him up and right now I'm just gonna move him to my lap. So sitting is really the best way to pick up a rabbit uh, so that they're not being held too far up in the air. You'll notice that he's very calm. He's not fighting or wriggling. Now if I had him up against my chest and I was carrying him standing and he began to wriggle and and kick, I would actually hold on to him a little bit tighter and try and calm him down because if I put him on the ground when he was kicking and wriggling, they can actually snap their spine and become paralyzed from the waist on down. So this is really a lesson in safety to pick up a rabbit carefully. Mm -hmm.